these are all the items that I have used to make this mural. I am not really going to go into detail right now, but as I'm painting and as I'm using the items, I will show you, let you know. You could also look in the description below and I will have all the details, all the items that I have been using. These are the colors that I chose for my baby's room. This first color, Graceful Gray. This is the color that all the walls are painted I took those little paint sampler and I went to the Home Depot and I was just placing the other paint samples next to it to see what will flow because it is a gray color but it also has this little weird brown tint to it anyway this is the graceful gray and then I went with a little bit darker color suede gray and then this one's intellectual <music> This part took me the longest just because I literally redid it like a couple times. So right here I'm going to show you what I did the first time and I ended up not liking it because it was way too many little mountains. As you can see I'm just looking at it like nope. So I redid it. Anyway I covered my floor and the floor trimmings using painter's tape. At first I used this blue one but then I went to the store and I ended up buying a different kind and you'll see me later using it it was much better better quality <laughs> once i'm done i'm going to use my exacto knife and i'm going to cut the extra tape off <laughs> paint the lighter one that I got <laughs> I'm going to show you that at first I started off using a paintbrush which I do not recommend because it was really annoying too long to do it and then my husband suggested to use a roller and that's what I did for the rest of the project I did not paint the rest of the bottom I don't need to I do peel off the tape while the paint is wet just in case there's any mistakes after the painter's tape is peeled off so I can grab a wet towel and clean it off. Now for the second part, I used the good painter's tape and I used the other tape as well just to kind of see where did I want the mountains to be or how they, I want them to look. Anyway, it was a mess. <laughs> Lots of tape was used. But I wanted them to be perfect, so I did what I had to do. Once I finished, I grabbed my X-Acto knife again and I cut off all that extra little tape following that triangular shape so my mountains have that crisp, sharp, triangular shape. darkest paint that I got and after mixing it I will pour it in this container and I'm going to use my roller <music> tape and I covered of some of the mountains tops into that snow on the mountains shape <laughs> white trim
spray mix paint left over so i used that i got a regular cup and i just poured it in there and i used a brush instead of a roller to paint <laughs> I grabbed a roller and I kind of just rolled it on over it so it has the same texture as the rest of the wall. I did try to use just the roller, but I don't know if it's because it's a trimming paint or something like that. It was just it was just not working out, so it was brush first and then the roller on top of that, and that worked out great. <laughs> For the black lines, I just got a sample size just because I will not need as much and I actually had a lot left over after. At first, I tried using brushes and a ruler. It did not work. Right now, I'm just going to show you a few ways that I did this and none of them worked. The lines just were not sharp or crisp enough because I have textured walls. It was just horrible. It did not look nice at all. Then I tried putting the painter's tape on both sides so I could just paint the line in the middle. gloves i got this sponge brush and i got the fast dry um, acrylic latex caulk so what i did after putting on the painter's tape i put on the caulk inside the untaped section and i just rubbed my finger and rubbed it into the wall <music> dry I just used my rubber sponge and I painted it over once I finished painting it over before the paint or anything could dry I just peeled off the, the tape and it worked out perfectly towards the end I did end up grabbing my sponge brush and if there was any little imperfections I did fix it with the brush but this was the only way that the lines were going to be perfect the mountains that I painted before, I end up redoing that to have it perfect. This was the longest, most annoying part is to taping everything off and just leaving the spots that I'm going to paint. It took me a while. And after I did that, I just, I would put caulk and on a um, few sections and paint it over take it off, take off the paint, take off the tape, and then I do the next section, next section, just because I wanted to peel it off before it dried. I wasn't sure if the the tape was gonna like be stuck to the wall if the caulk dried. <laughs> it i hope you enjoyed my video stay tuned for the next video when i'll show you how i ended up finishing up my baby room how i end up decorating and what else i ended up placing on the wall